Hello friends! I was asked to say hello friends in Danish, so let's give this a try. Hi Vinna. Hi Vinna. Sound good? And, uh, hello friend. Hello friend. Guten Tag. I'm also saying it in German because I got this lovely illustration from a German fan. I'm gonna try to say your name, German fan, friend. But I'm probably gonna say it totally wrong because I don't know how to do German pronunciation. But Liebe Grub Henriv? Thank you? I love it! Quick life update! Update on my life! I have been so busy and I expected things to be really crazy when I worked during Haunt and you can see my video all about Haunt but I thought that after that I'd have time to do things and I'd get so much done and I'd catch up on all the life I'd kind of missed throughout those few months but then I went to PMX and I still haven't made my vlog from PMX which I need to do and then right after PMX I went to Canada which was awesome I had so much fun I posted two videos I made uh, while I was in Canada with two friends there my best friend and Momo you can see those but I still have to do my <laughs> vlog from Canada and my whole trip in its entirety so I thought that when I got back from Canada I'd be able to catch up on life and everything that I'd been missing out on and I was home for a few days and then I had to go back to Canada because of a family emergency. Then I got sick, which is why my voice might sound weird, but <clears throat> now I'm back. Hopefully now I can catch up on everything I'm so behind on. I feel so bad because I keep telling everyone soon, soon, soon. And then that time never comes and I have like a long list of videos to do and a bunch of people I haven't seen in forever and reviews. I'm so sorry, but I will catch up. I hate to say it because I feel like I'm gonna jinx it, but soon? Right now, I want to show you a bunch of mail that I have received. Thank you so much everybody who's been sending me mail. I recorded this video before and my settings were all off. Uh, I had just gotten my DSLR and it was Everything was on auto, so every time I moved, and I tend to move a lot, all of the settings readjusted. So it's like watching a strobe light show, and the focus is all like. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I'm here to re-record it, and even though I've already opened all this mail, like the surprise is kind of gone, I still really want to show it to all of you and thank everybody who sent me stuff. I want to start off with Valentina. She sent me this beautiful illustration. I love it so much, I'm going to add it to my fan art wall right after this. She sent a cute business card with it. And look at this letter she sent me! It's Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma paper, but it's huge! She also sent me these stickers, which, when I posted them on Instagram, someone said that they're scratch and sniff. They are! Next I got this super cute cell phone case from an artist in Toronto, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I might have mistaken something else, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, so I wonder if you're part of the Lolita Calm there. And she, her store was called Too Sweet to Eat, but I believe it changed. I remember getting a message about that, so I will update it when I edit this video. And see, this is also adorable Kurilakuma, or yeah, Kurilakuma and Rilakuma stationery. And this is like the size I'm used to, whereas Valentina's, see, it's like huge. Where do you get this paper? The case is squishy. Some of the deco cases I've seen, the silicone part is hard, but this is nice because it's squishy and the pieces are really, really on there. I took this through the ultimate test. I brought it to the perfume concert and I was clinging to it in these crazy crowds and trying to take pictures constantly and nothing fell off. And it's been through my bag, and it's been traveling with me, and it hasn't really gotten dirty or anything. I really like this case. I would really recommend her shop if you're interested in some deco cases. I got a letter from Brandy, and I will read it now. Dear lovely lore, I'm not a Lolita now, but I want to be a lifestyle Lolita. 
I'm just not sure how to explain it to my over-controlling in-laws. They already don't like me. I've only been married to my husband for almost three months and they really, really don't like me. My family and friends don't mind. In fact, they say that I look cute and my husband says the same. Well, that's good. That's, I think, most important that the people that are directly around you and you will see in your daily lives accept what you're doing. He was the one who told me, help, got me about Lolita dress. Your handwriting is really beautiful. It's, it's cursive and I'm having a tough time reading it. There's not a Lolita community around here. Too many cornfields. She's in Oh, maybe that's too much information. She's in Illinois. <laughs> also, there is still more I need to learn about the fashion. Can you help? I'm sure that there's communities near you or you can find communities online. I don't know what you what you need to learn. So I just say like, check out my Tumblr, my Instagram, all my videos. Maybe that will answer a lot of questions for you. Because I can sit here for hours and explain Lolita and all of the different things to do with it. Your, your in-laws, I would recommend watching my how to explain Lolita to family video and figure out what it is that they are judging you on, what about it they don't like, and then go from there with how to fix it. Because everyone kind of has their own ideas and you have to address those individually. If you don't see them that often, it's it's probably not that big of a deal. It sounds like you're having other problems with them too, so, and since your marriage is so new, maybe in time they'll kind of learn to accept you and learn to love you and learn more about who you are. It might just be a shock to them that, you know, their son is married now and that he has this new life and they have to learn to accept it. I'm pretty sure my big stack of letters, I saw another one from you. So hopefully this story continues in a good light and we will check in with you in my next video. Gory sent me this cute cell phone case. It's like creepy cute. And this adorable photo frame. I'm glad I can show these on video because now I can actually use them. If you mailed me something and I didn't show it in this video, I probably did get it. I just haven't gotten around to opening it yet. I have a big stack of mail over there that I need to get to. I'm gonna try to make these videos in the next couple of weeks. If you want to send me something, I will post my P.O. box right here. I have a couple reviews to do so you can look forward to that. Uh, Moon Bunny is the accessories that I'm wearing. It's a Russian brand and I'm gonna do a full video on Moon Bunny. They make really cute accessories so look forward to that. Thank you all so much for your patience and for your kind messages. See you next time and stay lovely.